My name is Imhotep Newsom. I am the Language Access Program Manager here at the Metropolitan Police Department. Language access to me is a bridge to really learning more about cultures and how can we invite culture, how can we be less xenophobic, how can we um, bridge the gap and find out what are the things that makes individuals unique, but more so what are the things that really brings people together. One of the projects that we've worked on and uh, has helped expand the language access program is the language line application, which is an app for the telephones for the police officers. And that this app actually uh, provides interpretation. But now we are including sign language where we can have videos on the phone where we have someone providing sign interpretations. Every moment matters. And so what normally is about a 45 second process at times to get to an interpreter, the app really minimizes that down to maybe a 10, 15 second response time. People from uh, West African countries, Eastern Europe, um, Asia, and so forth, they are now uh, seeking employment with the Metropolitan Police Department, making our police force more diverse than it already is. Getting the feedback from that community makes us get better. And um, Mr. Newsom has had an open door to those communities where they can come in and say, hey, these are the things we need, and these are the things that we're gonna be able to do realistically within a time span. There are so many great languages here, and I think we only had a few languages predominantly from East Africa that we were certifying officers um, to speak, or we were able to reach out to other another contractor to actually certify members in West African languages. We wanted to do a cultural awareness video to help uh, with the relationship between the police department and the immigrant community. Keeping with the mayor's vision that we're a welcoming city, that we really sought to educate um, the public to understand that we're not an arm of ICE. Um, and by that, if someone is offering information about a crime or has information that can help uh, law enforcement officials, they should not fear deportation. He's a very kind person. He's always willing to help the community and to work for the community. And I'm very happy for him. I was very proud of him. Um, it would, it's an honor, his innovation, his ideas, and having foresight on what we need to do for the uh, community that we serve has been very fruitful.